Hi everyone. So today I want to share the project that I have been working on for quite some time now. Uh, so, so this is the current wave, and uh, uh, it is ultra low burden precision uh, current measuring device. So it can uh, measure very small currents, and it has three ranges: uh, uh, milliamp, microamp, and nanoamp. So this design is uh, based on the original design done by Dave Jones from EV Block. Uh, and the device uh, that uh, this design is based on is microcurrent. So, uh, so there are two version of microcurrent. One is microcurrent and microcurrent gold. So, this uses uh, microcurrent as the base. I've done couple of enhancements here. So, for example, I have added a, a OLED screen. Uh, so, this is a 0.42 inch OLED screen. Uh, so, it directly shows the output on this screen, and <clears throat> and there is a 18650 battery rechargeable battery and uh, the charging circuit is there so it can be charged uh, by usb connector here and uh, so it has two buttons also here to operate it and there is a charge led here uh, to show the charge status also from the output side so i have uh, in the original design there are uh, two banana jacks here uh, so i have eliminated those and added a bnc connector cause now the uh, this unit can measure and show show the reading here uh, but if you want to see the output on our oscilloscopes and then this uh, uh, B, uh, BNC connector can be used so I will just uh, power and show you the device now so on the screen you can see, uh, see this uh, big digit is it corresponds to what the device is measuring and it directly corresponds to whatever the range is selected on this switch so currently it is showing uh, uh, the milliamps consumed similarly uh, if it is on the microamp it will show the microamp and if it is on the nanoamp it will show the nanoamp uh, on the top uh, corner it shows the uh, maximum uh, uh, current that was consumed and on bottom it shows the minimum uh, and on the right top corner it shows the uh, uh, battery percentage that is left now and using the mode switch uh, we can reset the min and max now so uh, so currently this is the functionality of the mode switch but i will add additional functionality later on for this so quickly i will show you a demo here so i'll connect it to a, a dmm Okay, so I have connected a load. Uh, so I'm using a, a one kilo ohm uh, this precision resistor that I made. Uh, so it is acting as a load, and so we will vary the voltage across it and uh, see uh, how much current is it consuming now. So here, so you can see currently the, the devices you are reading as two, and the DMM is showing as two point six. So it means that it is consuming around uh, two milliamp right now. So if I vary the voltage, you will see that the reading also will change. So currently you can see it is measuring uh, 22 milliamps and the DMM also is showing a similar value. So here in this device, I'm not showing the decimal digits. That is why uh, where you will see the, uh, the DMM is showing uh, a one digit after a decimal also here. So I will change the range now. So we'll come to the uh, microamp. So here you will see now it has started reporting it as uh, the output as OL. 
and both uh, both are reporting as OL. OL basically means open loop, so it is out of the range currently. So this device can uh, measure in each range plus minus 1600. So uh, in microamp range, for example, now it can measure plus minus 1600 microamps. So when the input is below that, it will start to measure them. Yeah, so here you can see it has started measuring now. So I can keep increasing. So you can see 1580 and just above that, then it will start to show as OL. So that is the range of this. Uh, so you can see the multimeter is still not showing because it can only uh, read till 600 millivolts. So if we come to the uh, volt reading, uh, so then you, it will start showing. So, so currently the uh, current consumption is uh, uh, 1.5 milliamps. So you can see both both the readings are pretty close now. Similarly, I will try to show in the nanoamp also. So nanoamp uh, is somewhat susceptible to noise, and um, so you have to use a proper shielded cables uh, for the reading to be. Uh, stable yeah so here you can see now we are measuring uh, in nanoamp now so so currently it is around 112 nanoamps and you can see both uh, both the meters are showing the value now So uh, this device, uh, as it, uh, as I said, it puts uh, very low burden voltage. So it is very useful when we are uh, uh, measuring the current consumption of a small device, uh, such as a microcontroller or IoT device. So I'll try to show an example here. So, so I have a, uh, I have a, this uh, Arduino board here. So I'll quickly connect this. So here you can see, uh, so this uh, board is basically running a blink sketch. Uh, so you can see when the LED is switched on, the power consumption is around 37 uh, milliamps and when it is switched off, it is consuming around 25 milliamps. So I have connected uh, this uh, oscilloscope here and I, I don't know if you can see here. So this this LED is blinking at 2 seconds now, 2 seconds on and 2 seconds off and you can see this uh, the current consumption uh, can be seen on the DSO also now. So this device, uh, uh, this is almost ready, but I don't. I'm not sure. Like I will be able to mass produce it because there is a huge part shortage. Uh, part shortage now, and I'm not able to source the parts. So, so currently I have this device uh, that is available, and this can be purchased from the Tindy, and this is based on the original design of uh, uh, microcurrent. Uh, and I'll share a link in the uh, description uh, so if anyone is interested they can buy it from uh, the Tindy directly so here you can see the output has a, a banana jack here uh, so in this particular configuration if you want to connect a DSO then you will need an adapter like this uh, it's a, a, a banana to BNC adapter and after connecting it like this then you can again connect the uh, your VNC jack here directly 
so uh, that was it regarding this project uh, and thank you and i will uh, in future i will try to post the detail and the schematic of this particular project thank you